Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've been on camera to speak with you, but I did buy something and I wanted to share what I purchased with you. It is this. This is a crochet counter set kit. Now I was intrigued enough to purchase it. I do not know if it's gonna give what it's supposed to give, but I'm interested in it. So I wanna go over all the details with you along with the main event here, which is the crochet counter. So we'll run a test to see if it actually works, how it works and what all comes in the kit. If you're interested in that and you want to see what this is and how it works, stay tuned and I'll go over it in detail in a second. Okay guys, so let's get started on the review of this electronic counting crochet hook kit. First thing you're gonna notice is that it comes in a really nice faux leather case that carries everything really really nicely so i do like that feature everything kind of sits in there really nicely there's no smell just a nice kit it does come with some instructions now these instructions are nice and easy to read however there are some misspelled words in there but you'll still be able to catch on exactly to what you're trying to do now the main tool here um, is the counting um, is the electronic counting crochet hook it does come with a usb cord as well as some additional yarn needles so i really do like that that was a nice little extra benefit that they added to this they're nice dolls they're not too sharp and they work really nicely um, in the kit they go really nicely with the kit okay and you get quite a few of those which is really really nice and it has a little lid so perfect and then over here also really cool is they have these um scissors. so these are really nice they have the lid um, and they allow you to kind of cut. So nothing real fancy, but perfect for a kit like this, a good beginner's kit. You'll also see that it comes with a wrench and I'll talk to you about the wrench in a second because I do believe it's gonna go with your heads over there. And then you have a measuring tape, which I'm going to leave wrapped up because I don't really use that type, but it's perfect. Stitch markers, you can never have too many stitch markers once you start working projects, these are perfect. I think you get about 10 or 11 of those, not sure the count. And then you have the metal wrench here. So I'm looking at this here, I'm thinking the metal wrench is gonna obviously go with the metal crochet heads, and then you have the plastic wrench, which is gonna go with the plastic crochet heads. So I like the fact that it has varying sizes. Now this is just a standard table hook. Um, not my favorite type, but they're not bad um, type hooks are really good and they come in an array of sizes. So it looks like you here you have a 2.5 millimeter, um, that being the smallest there. And then you can see right there at the top of the head, I noticed that they have the actual size for the hook. So that's really, really nice so to know exactly what size you're working with. And then here you have your plastic hook which are the larger ones. So this one is a nine millimeter and I'll show it to you here. You kind of see it there on the side. Okay, and I'll just show it to you here. So do you see that's a nine millimeter. You have um, an eight millimeter in the plastic hook as well as a seven millimeter. So that's really cool. It's basically 12 interchangeable hooks that you can use with the um, electronic counter and I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and see if this actually works and I wonder <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna like it I like the weight of it I will give it that so let's go ahead and start putting the interchangeable heads on the crochet um, shaft area here so I'm using a metal hook so therefore I'm going to use the metal wrench to go along with it and basically you're just going to insert the um, top portion into the base of the crochet hook and then just give it a little turn. That's what I learned to do. And then you'll use the wrench to, um, cause there's like little grooves in there. You'll kind of line it up and you, this is one of those things that you kind of have to just feel it once you get it, if you decide to get it, and then you just twist it. So that allows you to lock the hook into place and then you twist it the opposite direction to un, um, unlock the hook. So you want to make sure, even though you can kind of pull it, push it into place, with your hand, it is nice that you um, that you have the wrench. And then the plastic hook will go with the plastic wrench and it works the exact same way. So that's pretty cool, okay? And everything just goes right back in there snugly. 
So the little wrenches come in handy for that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just see how the USB cord works. Again, I think I mentioned it, it does not come with a little charging block. So you will have to have one of those and most people that have um, any type of phones, you, you can just use that same block to use this device for. So go ahead and charge it, um, plug it in. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but um, a little light, LED light comes on that allows you to know that it is charged. That's it on that part. Let's see how it actually counts the stitches. So I'm just gonna make myself a chain here and see what happens. Okay. And I did 10 chains, so let's see what happened. <laughs> okay, so I guess you have to put in the stitches yourself. What? Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't read that. Okay, so it doesn't actually count your stitches. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Wow, I feel weird about that. So I don't think that's going to work for me. <laughs> but I can see how the row count might work okay. So basically if you... Once you complete a row, then you can click the little R for the row button, and then that will allow you to know what row you're on. I could see how that would be useful, but I cannot, for the life of me, see myself making a stitch and then recording it, making a stitch and then recording it. So no, no, that, that but it's not, okay, I'll go back, I'll wait to my final review, but yeah, that was definitely um, not what I was expecting. <laughs> I do like the handle, I like the grip, I like that it's lightweight. Um, that is cool. So, hmm. Um, I, I like the light. <laughs> okay, so look, let me be fair in my assessment. I'm pretty sure had I read, let me go look online real quick. Okay, so this is what I ended up getting. I wanted to go online and just clip what I got so that way you guys can know what I purchased. And in reading, it does say, note, the tool doesn't, in all cap, automatically count rows and stitches. So that is like one, two, three, four paragraphs down. That is my bad, guys. It does not automatically count your stitches. It's just an electronic counter, which is still cool. It's still cool. So with the new knowledge and the fact that I have now read, let's go over a few more things that I did not know. Let's start with the charger. You do have to charge it. It um, lasts for nine hours, which is a plus. It takes about 15 minutes to charge. So that is cool. Did not know that, should have read that, but that's a neat feature also. As mentioned, it comes with a little LED light, which is neat if you're crocheting in a dark environment. You do have that, the light option at the top. Then you have your other two um, buttons. So up close, this is what it looks like. You have an a S button for stitch, an R for row, and you would just, lightly press it one time to add a stitch and if you want to subtract the stitch you would hold it just a little bit longer so if you accidentally put one in too many just hold it down a little bit longer and then that will make it go backwards to clear it you would just hold it down for three seconds and it will clear out your entire stitch count so that is another cool feature and it does memorize the stitches that you've already placed in there even when it goes off so hindsight had I known that it didn't automatically counter my stitches, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. I do like the lightweightness of it all. I'm not 100% sure what kind of magical technology I thought I was getting for $39 that would count my stitches as I work, but I do like all the hooks. I do like all of that stuff. So that is a benefit to this actual purchase. It just give me my final thoughts to summarize everything. I think this overall was a pretty good hook. I have not used this to create a project, so I won't know for certain how it holds up over the life of a project, especially if you're making something big like a blanket. This is a hard plastic, so keep that in mind. However, it is an ergonomic kind of design, so I think that would help with the grip. So that might be the balance there. Another thing too is it is a long hook. This is a long barrel. Um, that's a little different, but I think that's by design. You have the technology component down here with the buttons, and I think they made it long so that you don't accidentally press buttons while you are creating. So that's probably not a bad thing. Um, the barrel up here, it is a slick, like an aluminum feeling. 
to it so might not work well with your cotton yarns probably will work fine with any type of worsted weight acrylic yarn anything like that a premium yarn like a I don't know like a merino wool or something like that or even like a hmm I'm not sure I, I, I really wouldn't know because I have not worked at this hook with any other yarn other than that little swatch that I created with that acrylic yarn and it worked fine so that's something to keep in mind if you're interested in trying it again the kit itself was a nice was nicely done 12 hooks carrying case tape measure yarn needles stitch markers I mean even has a little bit of light on here that in itself does make it does give it the value so any guys anyway guys that's pretty much it i enjoyed the video i hope you did too i will see you in my next one thanks for watching bye